my name's Alicia Power and I'm a spiritual intuitive and I talk easily and clearly with the spirit worlds. And today what I'd love to do is to invite my spirit tutors, my spirit helpers to, through me as I speak, to give us some insight about life purpose because I feel that this is such a valuable topic on the, you know, the tip of the tongue of everyone. What is my life purpose? What am I here to do? Who am I? What am I doing here? So the very first thing that my spirit tutors would like to say is that your life purpose, a primary life purpose, is to stay in the energy of love. And many of you watching this maybe already know how to meditate, um, how to do mindfulness practices. For example, for me, one of my meditation techniques that I enjoy working with is simply following the breath. And I'm just mentioning that because when you follow the breath, it amplifies love. So feeling love is one of our life purposes. It's a core life purpose because it gives you a feeling of joy. Um, it allows you to live your life, live your day feeling happy, feeling love filled, feeling joyful. And from that filled cup, you then spill over and nourish other people around you with those feelings of love and joy and contentment. So a primary purpose of your life is to feel love. And that's why many of us meditate, dive into deep love space through meditation first thing in the morning or last thing at night. We build it into our lives as a practice. And there's this beautiful thing with meditation, and that is that if you actually do it daily or regularly, it begins to build its power. It becomes consistent. So that space, the place, the state that you feel when you're in meditation begins to become a permanent state that's sitting just underneath your normal everyday state. That's beautiful, isn't it? There's a lot of benefits to meditation, which is lowering blood pressure, you know, um, biochemical changes in the body, um, longevity benefits, gosh, you know, so many psychological benefits, that many. And yet, look, in the end, we all just want to be happy. We really do. We just want to be, feel fulfilled and happy. Meditation does that for us. So it's a really major tool and it's important to bring it into your life, to incorporate, or incorporate it as a tool as a practice into your life. So high, high, you know, it's right up there in the su suggestions from today for life purpose. Now, another life purpose that's extremely important, and I'm going to start talking about the part of us that's not just physical, but it's the soul that is looking out of our eyes. So the purpose of us even being in this human life uh, is to fulfill that part of us that is that spirit self looking out of our eyes and the way that gets fulfilled is by seeing itself in a role of contribution shall i say that again when the spirit self witnesses itself in a role of contribution it feels happy and fulfilled so there's another soul purpose and life purpose for you to just start thinking about. And that is that when you contribute, when you love, when you give, when you give out to people around you, when you teach, when you help, when you support, when you're in service to people around you, your soul, the spirit self inside of you gets really happy and feels fulfilled. It's not that complicated, but I'm actually giving you, these are the the tools, these are the goals. And this is what makes your life really actually work. Where you feel happy and satisfied and by the end of your life, you're going, yep, I did it. I gave myself the juice of fulfilling my purpose, my life purpose. Now that spirit self that's looking out of your eyes has got a few other agendas. And one of them is to shine its light very brightly, you could say because it's come into this life, sure, to contribute and to give. 
but also to love in a way that's a little bit, it's like, yes, you can give and contribute and serve. <clears throat> There's also this interesting element of love, which is not actually connected to action. It's just an energy, the energy of love. And you could just sit here, or I could just sit here and just feel love. So it's the spirit self and it's the stuff it's made of, which is in spirit is the energy of love. And that's what I'm actually pointing to, that energy of love. So just being that, shining that, radiating that, doesn't matter what the action is or the words are, it's just the energy, the radiation of that love. Interestingly, that's a life purpose. Some of you may not have thought of that before. It's quite specific and it's a thing. It's a deliberate thing to do. Uh, for example, <clears throat> um, I'm on this YouTube channel and I'm speaking and I do a lot of other things. I run groups, I have live streams, I speak on international teleconferences. So I'm doing things or I'm working in my membership area in my computer, supporting and serving people that are buying courses <clears throat> and are learning from me. So I action a lot of things also, but also what I'm doing right now is kind of radiating the energy of my soul and the energy of my spirit. And I've been in spiritual practice for 40 years. That's a lot of time of focusing on God source and on God energy and on getting to know my own soul, looking at it in a mirror, if you like, getting to know it and also augmenting and growing that soul in love and in light and in maturity. So today, right now on this YouTube channel, channel <clears throat> there's a part of that spirit self that is me that's just simply radiating 40 years of knowledge and self-awareness and the love that my soul is. And even if you're listening to my words and as you're listening to my words, you're also kind of getting this below, uh, below logic, you could, you could almost say, feeling and energy of that love, of that sort of energetic clarity, love power, um, lots of words you could put on it, I'd say. So just as, that's just an example, and that could be you as well. So life purpose is radiating your love, also serving, actioning, contributing, and also just diving into love in meditation, spending time with that love, like putting your attention on it, just with no other distractions, focusing on it, you know, drinking it, drinking that love, drinking peace, diving below your mind, slowing your mind down so that you find the ocean of God source energy which then begins to connect with you. There's no word said, there's just the presence of that God source. And being with that is a life purpose. Interestingly, when you are with that, it nourishes you and it changes you and you do become more of that spirit self in this human lifetime, Contribu contributing to others giving to others that juice, that love, that, that God sources, because your soul, the stuff your soul is made of is God source. So it begins to come through you to others. That's a beautiful life purpose. So on that note, thank you so much for watching, for listening. Much love to you. My name's Alicia Power, and you can see more of my work and more videos and more training at soulmentoring.com. Namaste.